everybody at YouTube, it's Denzel. Yerp is Denzel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be raining. I don't know why it's not raining. But NASA did their dang on job, I'll tell you that much. I got a little special feature for you guys. Today is quick. It's going to be about how to apply hydraulic oil to your hydraulic jack. Let's jump right into it. Hey, welcome back to Curiosity Prevails. So, as I was saying, today we're going to be doing how to refill or just want to bleed it, your hydraulic jack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to work. First thing is first, you're going to maybe need jack oil, only jack oil. With stop with don't use it doesn't matter what you use but don't what brand you use matter of fact I'm gonna edit that what brand you use don't use a brake fluid don't just use it's got to say jack oil get you a little tool kit screwdrivers and stuff flathead preferably I however have this big one as far as a flathead but I have if you can see in there that little round piece yeah that I just you know. And then a little puller if you don't want to mess up your fingernails for the ladies. I know the video was supposed to be short, but hey, I was unprepared. I'm still trying to learn stuff and grow stuff. And not grow myself physically like that. You know, I was well blessed. But this is a child and adult channel. So we'll get to that later. All right, y'all. So real quick. Just want to pop this lid off. Just want to it's a little brand new still. But once you do that, you're going to have this little, I'll zoom it in. It's a little filler plug. Mine's is just a little piece. That's why it's chipped. I was trying to mess with it earlier. So what I was saying by the, the screwdriver, you definitely need screwdriver right here what you want to do is you take this and you turn it but before we turn anything I'm gonna take this plug off yeah, that was so easy and what you want to do is take this the jack wall you want to pour some in there after you let the air out Screwdriver, tool, air, plug. Yeah, my bad. I had to get that song back. Uh, that mug is smacking. So, take your tool, screwdriver, and you put it on your bleeder valve. And you turn it counterclockwise. One full turn. Boom. Then, what you want to do is, take the tool, your handle, I'm going to just lock it, mine, I don't know why it looks like that, I'm going to lock it in place, and then you just jack it seven times, and then, make sure you got fluid in here, it looks bone dry might be a little bit, so what you want to do is, you want to fill it all about a quarter of the way to this filler hole beginning at the bottom of, of this hydraulic cylinder. So like I was saying, you want to get your jack oil, hydraulic jack oil, whatever it says on it, make sure it's got that on there. If it don't got it on there, make sure it's got that on there. Jack, or stop leaving. So yeah, you just pop the top, and then we're going to come over here. I'm going to grab y'all in just a second. I'm going to do drip by drip. Come to find out, it was not full. So we're going to speed this process up a little bit, you know. Because we got a full day ahead of us. And we're going to cut it short. But what you're doing is you're making sure that you have the my bad, adequate level of fluid. Using two hands. And that's all right. She thirsty down in here. So that means that she was empty. This is brand new. 
by the way. If you uh like anything on this channel or in this video, go ahead and hit the like button. I uh, think we are. Let's check it again. We good? We full? We full. So once you go ahead and get that clipped all up, then you're gonna go ahead and just wipe it off, you know, make sure you don't get too greasy. I just took that off the corner. I didn't have nothing prepared. Then you grab your little oil filled plug and get her down in there. Get her oh. Yeah, I messed up. I was gonna say get her done. But you grab her. And if you shimmy her around in there, you know, you just, uh, and she just jimmy around in there, plow it. You didn't hear it, but it snapped down in there a little bit. And that's what it looks like. Zoom on out and you want to come back here with your tool screwdriver, whichever you choose, and on your pressure release valve. Just wanna make sure everything is back down. If you see it moving, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't when I came back over here to you guys. So right now, you wanna fully turn your pressure release valve or wherever it's at, whatever it does, however you turn it, until it stops. Don't do no Hercules mess around here. Don't be coming in here like Superman and just out and break it. It's brand new. Yours might not be brand new. It might be used. So make sure you check it before you use it. Then, pop that all now and then off of there, wherever, however. Come over here, lock your tool in place. I'm going to hold it down. And you want to jack it up. Grab him, hem him up, jack him up. You don't do it three times, thirty times, twenty times. You just want to make sure that it goes up. Now I will take you outside right now, but I'll take you outside in a little bit. Um, and we'll show you that it holds the pressure. Hopefully it does, and I don't have to come back the angry Karen. You don't need to be Hercules and stuff. But look, Hercules, if you're watching this, don't come in here. Just as soon as you feel it, bow. And come up here. It's try, I'm trying to lock it, but then you want to jack it. We, I, and then, you do that, take the tool out, pop, pop it in there, and slowly, I repeat, slowly, slowly, turn the pressure release valve. Counterclockwise again until it starts to lower itself slowly because you don't know what you got on here and you don't want it to fall and hurt you. Don't hurt yourself. It's a warning label. Don't do nothing over here while any of this stuff is moving. Stay over here and just read it before you use it. Use it carefully. And once you get it out, check it. And then turn it all the way and then come back some. So if you ain't messing around up here, it don't, it don't raise up on you. Then I got this little handle. Like a little, that'd be heavy. If you like anything on this video uh, or this page, Curiosity Prevails, we're still growing and learning. So just work with me. It's just me right now. I say we because I use my alter egos. And, Good evening, my bad, man, the Kanye's. Shout out to Kanye, I, feel, I almost cussed right there. I'm out.